Hi and welcome to the video about what are mutual funds. Mutual funds are type of investment vehicle that pulls together the money of many investors and use it to buy a diverse portfolio of stocks, bonds and other securities. This allow investors to get exposure to a wide range of assets while also benefiting from professional management and diversification and manages the fund's portfolio on the ongoing basis. This can be especially helpful for investment. investors who may not have the time to expertise to manage their own investments. This can also help reduce the risk of investing in a single stock or bond as fund is diversified across various securities. Another benefit of mutual funds is diversification. Because a mutual fund holds many different securities, it can help spread out risks and potentially reduce the impact of any investment performance on the overall fund and this allows investors to get exposure to wide range of investments with just one purchase. The goal of mutual fund is to provide investors with a single and convenient way to invest in wide range of assets without the need of individual investors to research and select specific investment on their own. When you invest in mutual fund in India, you are allotted certain number of units based upon the price of the fund at the time of investment. The value of your investment in the mutual fund then will be based on the NAV or net asset value of the fund. The NAV is calculated as the total value of the fund's asset divided by the number of units outstanding. In India, the mutual funds are regulated by the Security and Exchange Board which is short form as SEBI which ensure that they operate transparently and fairly. There are many types of mutual funds available including equity fund, debt funds and hybrid funds which combine both. There are also mutual funds that specialize in specific assets classes such as stocks, bonds or real estate that focus on sectors or geographical regions. They are also sometimes divided on the based upon the direct mutual fund which are directly with the mutual fund house and indirect mutual fund in which the broker comes in between the mutual fund house and you while investing. Mutual fund offers investors flexibility. Many mutual fund houses allow investors to make regular contribution to their investment with a relatively small amount of money or to and to withdraw their money at any time, subject to fees and the restrictions. This can make mutual funds an attractive option for investment, for building a long term saving plan or for those who need to access their money over short term. To invest in mutual funds in India, you need to open an account with SEBI registered broker and have your KYC done and choose a mutual fund which aligns with your investment goal and risk tolerance. You can invest in mutual fund through one time investment or SIP which is called as systematic investment plan which allow you to invest in the fixed amount over a regular interval of time like if you want to do it monthly, quarterly or yearly basis. When choosing a mutual fund, it's important to consider the fund's investment objective, strategies as well as fees and expense ratio. The expense ratio is the annual fees the mutual fund companies charge to cover the cost of managing and operating the funds. It's expressed as a percentage of funds assets and it is deducted from the funds assets daily. For example, if you invest in a mutual fund with which is having the 0.5% of the expense ratio and you invest 1000 rupees. So yearly 50 rupees will be deducted from your amount and that will overall affect your returns also. So in general, funds with the lower expense ratio tend to perform better over the long term than those who have the higher expense ratio because they have the lower cost and therefore have more money invested in the market. You should consider mutual funds which are having expense ratio mostly less than 1%. While mutual funds can be great investment option, it's important to remember that they do come with the some risk as value of investment may go up and down depending upon the underlying securities. It's always good idea to consult with a financial advisor or do your own proper research before the investment. We hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Nikhil Dhawan signing off.